This is Orlando Wilson. What I want to talk about in this video is you need to be able to know where you are at all times. You need to be able to navigate and get from A to B. This might sound simple, but for a lot of people it's very difficult being able to orientate themselves and get from one location to another location can be complicated for them. I'll give you a story. I had one guy do my classes in South Florida. Uh, very nice guy. He was in he was in a, a government agency before you went commercial for and he was on the protection team for a prominent Latin American uh, president. But the guy couldn't find his way around South Florida. And South Florida is generally not a difficult place to navigate. It's on a grid system. There's plenty of uh, reference points. There's plenty of... Uh, it's, it's not a hard place to get around. Plenty of major roads heading uh, north to south, etc. So it's not that complicated. The guy couldn't find his way around. And I said to him, well, why not? He said, well, he was a CP guy. He'd always had drivers. He'd been through a couple of government schools. I think he went through a U.S. school and also uh, the Israeli school, CP school for government protection people. But guy could navigate. Wherever you are, you need to know where you are. And you need to be able to know how to get yourself, and if you're with a client especially, how to get your client to a safe area, back to your hotels if you get lost, etc. You always need to know where you are. This applies not just to rural areas, but also urban areas. In a lot of urban areas, it's very easy to get disorientated. So you need to learn how to navigate in urban areas and also rural areas. I tell people, maybe, not maybe, you should always know which direction is north. You need to be able to orientate yourself. So these days, most phones will have a compass on there. Are they that accurate? No, but they should be able to point you in the right direction. The trouble is, what are you going to do if your phone's not working, etc.? You still need to be able to orientate yourself. Maybe having a little button compass, a little silver compass, which is, uh, they're very reliable. It doesn't have to be military grade. It doesn't have to be military grade precise. It just needs to point you in the right direction tell you which way is north, east, south, west, approximately. When you're going into an area, if you don't know the area, work out the major reference points in the area, whether it's rivers, roads, mountains, hills, communications towers, anything that you can orientate yourself from. Say you see, uh, you're going into an area, there's a major communication tower up on a hill, you know if you get to that hill, if you get to that communications tower, if you head northeast, southwest, you'll find your hotel or you'll be in the approximate area of your hotel if you go how many kilometers northeast, southwest. If you know what major roads and rivers there are in your area, if you get lost, if you know you head south for 10 kilometers, you'll bump into a major road, you'll bump into a major river, and from there, you'll be able to orientate yourself or find better reference points, civilization, etc. Being able to navigate in urban areas is especially important because you don't want to go in and be going into dangerous areas such as hood, etc. So always make sure you know where you are. Always make sure you know where you're going and try not to get lost. And again, it might sound simple, but if you're in areas that you don't know, it can be very easy to get lost. So do everything possible to uh, avoid that problem. As you should know if you're watching my other videos, I've got an array of books online to do with various aspects of the security business, close protection, kidnap and ransom, etc. Check out my blogs and the Risk Incorporated blog. We've got a series of articles up there on various aspects of the security, close protection investigation business. And I'm also throwing up a lot more of these videos um, that covers various aspects of the security, close protection, kidnap and ransom business. And we're also answering questions that some of our people are sending in. So if you connected with me on social media, feel free to send in any questions. 
If you're not connected with us on social media, follow us along on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. There's going to be a lot more information going up that hopefully you'll find helpful and relevant. Well, it is helpful and relevant to those uh, active in the close protection investigation world. So in the meantime, be good, stay safe, and always know where you are.